It's a happy day at the crowded South Carolina Aquarium Sea Turtle Care Center. One of the patients is going home. So what's really special about today is that we're releasing Hopper, uh, one of our juvenile temps release, and that'll hopefully open up some extra and much needed tank space uh, here down in the hospital. Three months ago, Hopper was sucked out of the ocean by a ship dredging the channel into Charleston Harbor. Luckily for Hopper, his injuries were minor, and he's made a speedy recovery. Hopper's tank mate, Glenn, was also a victim of the same dredge. He's had a much tougher time. One of his lungs was crushed in the dredge's metal grates, and he's had several surgeries attempting to repair it. The staff worry he'll never make it back to the ocean. It's a bad prognosis in terms of release. It may not kill him, but he'll never be able to dive or correct his buoyancy. Hopper was the lucky one, suffering only some abrasions to his shell. And today, he'll be swimming in the sea once again. I remember when he first came in, um, all that Dr. Shane was like, oh, it's a miracle that this turtle is even alive. And really, the only thing that saved him was the fact that um, he's small in size. He is able to go right through those metal grates where the loggerheads aren't as lucky. He really is a miracle turtle. Dredging activity was shut down for the rest of the summer after causing several sea turtle deaths. So it's now safe for Hopper to go home. <laughs> there you go. I know, there's a lot going on. Rehabilitating an animal that otherwise would not survive without intervention it is great. Um, it's very rewarding to come out and, and release an endangered species, and you know that you are, in your own small way, um, doing better for that species, or in sea turtles in general. At the Turtle Hospital, Dr. Boylan's team continues to try to fix Glenn's lung over the next two months. They have to find a way to permanently close the bulla, or air pocket, caused by the ruptured lung. Otherwise, Glenn will never be able to dive underwater. But nobody is optimistic. No matter what we do, we'll not be able to close it, and the turtle will, per will permanently have a space, a dead space in the lung, and will be unable to dodge. This could mean a non-releasable status for him. Before losing all hope, Dr. Boylan gets a tip from his friends at the Charleston Veterinary Referral Center. They recommend he tries a technique called a blood patch a procedure often done with cats and dogs, but it's never been done on a sea turtle before. For good reason. Normally when you have a bull, uh, a human or dog or any other animal, you'll open up the chest, you'll find it surgically. We would have to crack open the whole carapace and he wouldn't have survived that. He certainly wouldn't go back to the wild like that. Instead, Dr. Boylan uses x-rays to help guide an injection of blood into the air pocket. The blood will hopefully create a clot that will block the opening to the lung. And it's kind of tricky without going in surgically to know where it is. We put a needle in, we take a radiograph, and we'd see if it was placed properly. And then we take another couple more radiographs. We made sure where we were, and we injected this blood. And that forms a seal. So the next time he takes a breath in, it doesn't push through that hole and fill up that bulla again. Amazingly, it works. The air pocket, or bulla, is practically gone. And the lung no longer leaks air. We did another CT scan, and there is no air left all in the bulla at all. It's scar tissue, you can actually see it, but there's no trapped gas. Five months after his accident, Glenn's finally able to breathe normally and dive once again. Hey Glenn, you going home today? Yeah, he's excited. We're, we're so happy to get him back out. And we 
really thought he would be a non-releasable turtle. Glenn won't be making the trip back to the ocean alone. He's sharing his release day with Hunley, a 150-pound female loggerhead who was badly bitten by a shark. She suffered lacerations to her head and shell while the shark made off with most of her front flipper. Antibiotics and lots of rest have helped Hunley recover enough to be cleared for release. Hunley and Glenn are the biggest comeback patients this year for the hospital. They'll receive a proper farewell on the Isle of Palms, where a huge crowd is growing by the minute in anticipation of their arrival. We were coming this way and she kept mentioning, turtles, turtles, we're gonna see the turtles. So she was really excited. Hunley, the loggerhead, goes first. It's a team effort to get her to the shoreline. Finally, it's the moment the hospital staff never expected. Glenn's about to go home. It's been five months of arduous rehab since his accident. The pioneering blood patch surgery that saved Glenn will help Dr. Boylan treat new cases like this more swiftly in the future. For now, the staff celebrate one more Kemp's Ridley returning to the wild.